Lovely! Welcome to today's video. Hope you've had a good weekend when you're watching this video. I think it's Sunday. Today we are going to be building my jump bike. This is the colour reveal right here. I have not unwrapped this frame at all and I've had this frame now back for over a day. It's been absolutely killing me but I wanted the most natural reaction I could physically get. I've had it professionally powder coated and it looks proper, proper crazy. It's Nardo grey, the same grey that comes on Audis and VWs. It's still got a bit of sand in it. Where do I even start? Where do I even start? My workbench that I installed seems to be bowing. I don't know whether you can see this in the clip, but it's got like a gradient on it now from the bottom to the back, it's got like a hump in the middle. But I think it's because it's so cold that it's just starting to like change shape in the cold. Maybe because I'm putting the heater on, then it's cold, then the heater's on, then it's cold. I actually can't open the doors properly. As you can hear, it's scratching the top because the front of the desk is starting to drop and the back's dropping. So what I'm hoping to do today is put a couple of timbers in at the top of these carcasses here and fix the middle down and hopefully that'll make it go like that again. Then we're going to get to rebuilding the jump bike frame. The whole concept of this bike build was to have a sick colour, a really cool colour that goes super well with my Nardo frame. Oh my days! The Hope X2 brake is going to look cushy. A new look for the jump bike. A new look. You will notice that I am wearing one of the tan owner hoodies. Don't forget, we've got a pretty savage deal going on at the moment on the online store. All you have to do is go to the link in the description. You get a free t-shirt or jersey with every single hoodie, jacket or joggers on the online store. We have recently just had the craziest restock on absolutely pretty much everything. So we got the red and black hoodies back in, we got tan hoodies back in, we got light blue hoodies back in, we got loads of stuff back in stock, so go and check that out. Also, pretty cool deal on the store right now. If you buy a long sleeve t-shirt, which we've got a white, a grey and a black long sleeve t-shirt online, you get a free sticker pack. So go and check that deal out as well. You can get both things at the same time and it's all around 20 quid. It's pretty sick. So go and check it out. Go to the store and let's get on with today's video. I've got these little pieces of timber. I'm going to basically put these on the inside of the cupboards like that at the right height and then I'm going to fix it from the top with some screws like I'm going to use some screws like this and just I'm going to use some screws go from the top and then it should pull into this in like two spots and keep it nice and solid because obviously it's not dealing with the winter very well so we're going to try and get it solid I'm hoping they're all pretty much working now again which is pretty cool. I do, however, I do feel like I've figured out what the problem is. I think on something like this, it comes kind of sealed, so no moisture in the air can get into that. Whereas in here, this is pretty raw. So down this end, it kind of looks a different colour than sort of here. And my guess is it's starting to pull some moisture in the air. So what I need to do is seal it and get it like sealed with something. So any recommendations, what I should use to seal it, that'll be highly appreciated. I just need something what stops the moisture getting into it. Other than that, it's pretty sick. I've had to put a couple of holes in it, which I'm not too happy about in there and there, but I'm not bothered. It is a work garage at the end of the day, so all good. I actually, you will notice I moved the computer down this end, and the reason why was I kind of thought this makes a better workstation opposite the toolbox down here and then I can get this end quite dialed for just chilling out and putting some tunes on so on so on my bikes are still pretty hectic over here got quite a lot frames all that stuff put it all there got some paint in there and obviously I've been using my car gear as you can see pretty flat out it's cool so we have the jump bike frame looking pretty professional from what we can see in the middle on the inside Basically, we're going to unwrap it. I'm excited for this moment. I've been waiting to do this since I picked it up. Basically, 
basically, when you get piles of coat and done, for the record, when you buy a frame from like a factory or a bike brand, they come piles of coated. It's not actually like paint, it's a bit like paint, but they use, I think, I could be wrong, let me know if I'm wrong, they clip like an electric current to it, so the paint sticks to it. I could be wrong, but I think that's what they do, but it's different than paint, it's a lot more durable, a lot more high end. But the problem I've got is there's quite a bit of sand in it from the sandblaster, and if you don't get that out, it would make so much noise. The rear end reveal. Oh my Jesus. Look at that. Nardo. Grey. Same colour that comes on the VWs and the Audis. Frame. That looks amazing. 10 out of 10. So sick. <laughs> that was intense, but it's fully empty. It's pretty hard to get it all out actually, but it's one of them things. Really, you want to do it straight away and get it all out before it's too late. We can actually look at the frame properly. It looks proper, proper crazy. In fact, I'm going to hang it by the seat post on this and get some close-ups. Oh my days, how bike builds have changed. For me anyway, over the years. Look at that. So, got a bit of a seat post grabber going on. Look at that. reached the executive decision on what stickers go on it. I'm going to start with the orange website because I absolutely love the look of it. Oh my days! I've only just realised actually orange and all my other parts are orange. Fox stickers and everything. It's pretty sick. Pretty sick. Vibe orange there. Oh, wow. Okay, I'm putting an ODI sticker on the very front of the bike because I had it on my last jump bike build, which was this jump bike build, just not as clean. Going for the ODI emblem there. Pretty sick. It's actually one of my favourite ODI stickers. Just the little manufactured goods thing since 1980 40 years old that's crazy owner is only nearly two years old we are going in we are going in for the build right now it's happening so we've got some copper slip and a brush this is something you've never probably seen me do on the channel before and it was probably because i didn't know where the hell it was but we're going to copper slip all the top of this for the bearings to sit without any creaking. Look at that. The cleanest build I've probably ever done in my existence. That is what I will say. Absolutely drenched in grease and copper slip. I didn't manage to get a brand new headset for this build, which is kind of what I wanted to do. But I'm just going to clean it all, like so, bearings. Still fully working, nothing wrong with them at all. I just thought, why not? Just add a bit of copper slip, just in case there's not enough in them head cups. Lovely. Oh my god, this build is going to be insane. I'm hyped. Feels too professional for me, this build. I'll be honest. I'm getting worried. Just 
clean the old bearings down. Bit of fresh copper grease. And then that's that. Lovely, lovely. Getting crazy on this build, you know. This is something that I never thought I would see myself doing. Oh my god, look at that. <laughs> About three years ago I got sent this kit for free and I knew it would come along helpful in the end. I'm going to put every single bolt on this bike in titanium that I can. Basically, I'm going to start with some titanium stem bolts. So this bike is going to be of such a ridiculous quality. I was actually cleaning the rust out of these bolts then and then I just thought to myself why don't I just swap them for titanium such high spec so that's what's happening right now they're like a different shape I think they look a little bit more pro check that out what are your thoughts I'll come back in a minute when I've done all four six I'll even put another two in there I'll come back when I've done all six of these and we'll carry on with the build that has pretty much made that stem look brand new Chromag stem, nice little shape bolts there now, nice shape bolts on the sides for the stem to grab. Keeping it stealth with the black spaces, just give everything a bit of a clean. I'm going to wipe this whole bike down once I'm done, but I'm really, really happy with it so far. I actually can't believe A good look and build this. This has got to be, it's got to be the sickest custom build on the channel so far. The chameleon was pretty good though. The chameleon was pretty good. I do miss the chameleon a lot and now there's a couple more bike parks popping up and stuff. I do feel as if the chameleon would have more of a purpose on this channel. So I may look into a new hardtail. I may look into a new hardtail at some point but for now it's this bike's day. It's got a bit of a industrial look to it. I'm very happy with this bike. Very, very happy with this bike. Wow. Just wow. What a machine. So I'm going to be going. There's quite a lot of sand in this before, so. I am going to kind of cake it for now inside because I really don't want to thread the BB on the frame otherwise that is the end of the frame so I've literally drenched the BB in copper so many possibilities and options okay be right back we're having a bit of a bottom bracket restoration right now the bottom bracket's going on that's what it did look like and this is what it currently looks like and it's about to be dialed for quite some time off that yet though so we'll see you back here in a minute I'm getting a clip of this because that is absolutely shocking I drove three hours to ride Chick Sands dirt jumps on this bike with a bottom bracket like that that is insane it's all about timing in life though like I'm so grateful that I'm this into mountain bikes now. I've been into mountain bikes for three years, but I've been into loads of things alongside it. But right now, mountain bikes is just I absolutely buzz off it. And it's something I'm so focused on. Hence the garage, hence the bikes. I'm so glad that right now I have such a crazy bike collection to enjoy mountain bikes. This is ridiculous. This is giving me so much right now cleaning this bottom bracket in here, in my own workshop. It's just sick. I couldn't wish for more. It's cool absolutely caked the grease on that so I don't think we're going to have any sort of an issue but I'm doing it to the point where I can hopefully rectify how much I didn't grease everything for so long coming in hot with the dream build I need to go in here and get this root boy for the bottom bracket this is pretty sick I 
and it looks pretty crazy. BB's on, fully installed, and I'm not messing when I say this. I reckon I'm going to keep this bike forever. It is so nice. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. I'm going to do the cranks right now, but I'm actually going to clean them all down again. So, Shimano Saint Cranks. They're actually in really, really good condition. I didn't really know how good condition they were in because they were just full of gunk. I've never actually been able to see, but pretty sick. Don't want you to lose your mind right now. But look how brand new that crank arm looks. <laughs> Saint Crank looking like an actual Saint Crank. Pretty dialed that. Back end's not even got a mark on it, pretty much. Lovely. Lovely! That's what it did look like. Jeez. So I've cleaned the chain, fully cleaned it down. It looks absolutely brand new. Completely cleaned the cranks with an inch of their life. Look at that. They look brand new. Which is awesome. Why not? If you can get something to look legitimately brand new again, you'd be crazy not to. So, I'm going to go for the crank. Ooh, getting slacker each time now. Is that a fresh brew? Fresh brew up here from? Jesus! Oh my days, just what I needed for this bike build. Just when I was running out of motivation. I know, I know you're all shocked that this is actually one of my builds. I know you're shocked. You're still in, you're still hooked in. You're still enjoying the bike visuals. I know, I feel the same. Every time I walk in this garage, it's ridiculous. I know. Here we go, going in hot with the crank install. Jeez, look at that setup. Right there. That shouldn't even be legal. That is ridiculous. I was not expecting it to look that clean on. Perfect. I've got fresh bolt, metal tool. You know what I said about in the last videos. If any of you have got some Shimano Saint Cranks, you can get this little metal tool. It's actually a park tool tool. I didn't know that it was a park tool bit. There you go. But basically, it's just pretty sick compared to the plastic ones that you usually get. Freshened up cranks. Freshened up bolt. This is probably the cleanest build I've ever done. I know I keep saying that, but I'm pretty blown away by my own build, if I'm being honest. The chain tension is set, as you can see. Pretty stiff. Wheels on. We're getting pretty close to having it done. I'm actually going to stick at the other side dead quick. Be right back. Okay. Look at that. I do feel I'm gonna I'm gonna put some black grips on. I feel it's a pretty loud bike, and I feel like the last thing it needs is another colour up the top. So I am probably going to put some black grips on in a minute. I'm really really hyped and happy. The X2, ready for install. Oh my god, look at that. That, oh, nearly did that wrong then. Goes up there. Look at that. The beast. That is insane. Wow. Wow. And we're going to finish it off because this is a pretty ridiculous dream build. We're gonna finish it off with some tie bolts. Okay, I'm putting titanium bolts there and on the top. As you can see, it is like titanium heaven in here. As you can see, going in pretty hot with the um, with the high spec finish. It looks not. I can't believe this, to be honest with you. I think all the little titanium bolts are like a scent. 
they literally make it look 10 times sicker. Look at that. That is one seriously sick finish. Do it the opposite way to what a bar spin. This way, this way, this way. Like so. That feels sick. Solid. Beast! That is unreal. Out with the old, in with the new, little valve caps. Going straight over that dust cap. That gives it like something to grip onto. And survive. Look at this, you can see. Pretty sick. Second one going on, such a cool little concept. The little valve cap things. Love it. So sick. Like a mini grip. Okay. Now, we're gonna go in for one of the last parts of the puzzle on today's video. And that is the grip installation. And new bar ends in black. This is gonna finish this bike. But I'm actually just gonna throw them on with some hairspray. And then I can just leave it in here to settle. So they'll be slippy for a little bit. But I'm not out riding it today, so I'm not concerned. So I'll be back in a minute when the grips are on. And we will have a full, finished, complete build. Oh my god. So I've got a few little bolts to tighten up. I'm going to lower the seat. And then we're gonna do the final reveal. Oh my God. That is, and I mean this when I say this, we've got the transition in a sand color, desert sand type layout. That is complete. There is not a single thing that I need to do to that bike at all. That is perfect. What a build, what a build, that is perfect. so pro I've decided I might undergo a new project for one of the next up and coming videos I might completely dismantle my e-bike the linkage the engine the battery everything all the wires the gears the, absolutely everything split the frame and get it powder coated because that has just honestly rejuvenated me love for that bike in such a positive way it's so insane. It looks like a brand new bike. It feels like a brand new bike. It's definitely crazy that. The orange hope brake is just ridiculous on that. Wow. What a machine. What a machine. That's going to be the end of today's video. Until next time, I hope you've enjoyed this episode. And make sure you go and check out Owner. The link is in the description. Remember, we've got a pretty crazy deal going on right now on the store. With every single long sleeve t-shirt, you get a free sticker pack, which is like an A4 one, pretty high, pretty high quality vinyl stickers. We've got fuel, we've got orange, sunrise orange, we've got an actual sunset colour, we've got camo, we've got galaxy snow camo, 
fuel, there's loads. You get a free sticker pack with every long sleeve t-shirt on the store. You'll see it in the deal on the actual product. Huge restock on loads and loads of products. So we've got tan hoodies, red and black hoodies, black on black jerseys. You can order both a long sleeve t-shirt and a hoodie and you'll get a free t-shirt and some free stickers. Just remember, on the long sleeve t-shirts, you don't have to add your sticker pack. And on the hoodies, you can add one of your choice, or we'll throw one in for you if you forget. Don't stress. That's going to be the end of today's video. Hope you've enjoyed. See you next time. Peace out.